Peggy Rant. Now I am here with Nicole, who is the chief pretty chick in charge at Pretty Pieces. Now we're so excited to have you in because our studio today is full of entrepreneurs and you are kicking us off oh. right here live. I'm so excited to have you. Me too, thank you for having me. So Nicole, you've had a really special journey going into creating Pretty Pieces. And I was hoping that you would share a little bit of that journey with us, because we see your Pretty Pieces, we see the beautiful aesthetic result that you give, but we know that there's a ton of hard work that goes in behind that. Absolutely, so Pretty Pieces is a labor of love for me. Third generation seamstress, I come from a family where fashion, faith, fun, and food was at the forefront. Um, my mom taught me to sew, my mom taught me the importance of being able to present yourself into the world. And so Pretty Pieces came at a time where I was going through something so terrible and I could literally hear, go back to your first love. And so Pretty Pieces was birthed. Now, when you were creating this journey, obviously we know that there are a ton of boutiques, a lot of great local boutiques. There's a ton of also fast fashion out there, Absolutely. but you really wanted to set yourself apart. So how did you do that? Curating an experience. Mm -hmm. So again, there's this thing called no like trust. I wanted my people, my tribe to be able to know, like, and trust that I was gonna be able to provide those pretty pieces that were gonna get them from the runway to the boardroom and everywhere in between. Right, because you see women in many facets of life. Like I know you shared with me when I was in her studio that you've had women, you know, <clears throat> pre-baby, after baby, yes. and they were like, I lost this part of me or during a job transition yes. or going out on their own or after a marriage. Mm -hmm. And you said that your clothing became medicine for those women. Absolutely, I, I, you know, ironically, I just got an email. Someone actually just emailed me and said just that. She was like, hey girl, you might not remember this, but you got me through that moment where I wasn't feeling very good about myself. I just had my second baby, having a baby in my late 30s, pounds kind of packed on. She said, you made me feel like a million bucks. And that's what it's all about. Because you didn't, say you need to fit into these clothes. You right. said these clothes need to fit these women in my life. Absolutely, absolutely. Now, I know that you've also faced challenges and feedback because your clothing is not, <laughs> um, let's see, what would you say? It's, it's, there's not a neutral palette. They're not easy going clothes. Like yeah. they're fun, they, they call attention to the woman and absolutely. not everybody likes that. But what do, you, what do you say to those people when you encounter someone that's against your brand? You know, so the women that wear my brand, we're peacocks, mm -hmm. we like to strut our stuff, you know, and so everything isn't for everybody. So you know, it's one of those things where there was a time where I listened to that feedback mm -hmm. and it impacted how I presented the brand into the marketplace. Right. So I just thought, let me just stay true to me because there are brands that have neutral palettes. Right. There are brands that have, you know, a different aesthetic, but I understand my target demographic. I understand the pretty pieces girl. I understand that she wants to show up in pink boots and a pink tutu yes. blazer. You saw how fast <laughs> I snatched that that ballerina dress off the rack when what? you guys came in. So, so it's basically understanding who I'm here to service versus those that I'm not. And I can have that dialogue with those people and they understand, okay, I need to be in that because I have an empowerment event and I need to walk in and own this room. Right, and I think that's something special for entrepreneurs or future entrepreneurs to understand is that you don't have to be everything to everybody. On the contrary, would you agree with that? I absolutely do. That's one of those pieces of advice that I wish I'd had. If you try to sell to everybody, you'll sell to few. When you identify that person that you know needs what you have, mm -hmm. then you'll be able to own your niche in that market space. And is there any other piece of advice that you received, you know, going through your journey or that someone shared with you that where you were like, this is the best piece of advice I've ever heard? So the piece of advice that I wish I'd gotten was to understand that you need to ask for help. Okay. You need to understand to delegate. You can't, look. so being a one woman show is not cute. Oh, say it one more time for the being, people in the back. <laughs> being a one woman show is not cute. There's burnout, there's self deprivation. You will literally kill yourself. I had a TIA, I'm the girl that tried mm -hmm. that. So delegation is very important. And you actually can make more revenue when you have a fitted team. So if I could give anybody any advice, delegate and ask for help. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for sharing that oh with us. God. And you guys, please make sure you check out Pretty Pieces. They have an amazing online brand and also a brick and mortar specialized fitting room right here in Jacksonville. Mark?